Greetings and welcome to Elizio's Diecast videos. I'm Elizio and look what came in the mail. So here it is, a Mazda 787B by Tomica Limited Vintage Neo. Um, I had this on pre-order for like three months already. It was released a couple of weeks ago, got it a week ago here in Vietnam. And um, very cool. Uh, I love my racing cars and uh, whenever uh, TLV try it hand at uh, racing cars it's usually pretty neat. Um, I got something else at the same time. This uh, Tommy Calimitan Vintage Datsun Bluebird 1600 SSS in red. Very excited about this too because uh, so far all I have uh, are the Hot Wheels release of this uh, model. And uh, before we go into the Tomicas, a couple of other things I got off eBay, starting with the Pro Street Camaro from the 100% Hot Wheels collection. Pretty cool. I don't have many 100% Hot Wheels cars, uh, but I really like what they, they did, and I wish they would bring that line back or something similar. Uh, because this is probably the highest detail they ever got. Uh, the only thing I don't like about this is the big packaging and uh, yeah, it's a bit of a waste of space, really. But uh, the models themselves are really cool. So I got this one and in the same theme, I got this 1967 Corvette. Uh, casting I really like. My only concern is about those tiny uh, rubber bands that uh, they've had, like uh, here. Um, I've seen some videos online of, uh, I think it was uh, Joe Muller, who uh, basically, when removing the, the plastic bands, the paint was coming off with it, which was very, very bad. I hope this will not be the case with this, because that would really, really, really makes me, uh, I don't know, angry, I guess? Those things are not cheap, you know, so. But anyway, I will be opening this another time. Right now, we're here to talk about TLV, starting with this tiny model in the regular size box. So, here it comes. Box, tightly protected, back and forth, plus plastic bag, and here is Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, here we go. Here we go. So right off the bat, you can see that uh, in terms of detail, this is definitely TLV. Very, very detailed. Oh, I have a little bit of sheet paint here. That's not cool. I usually, smell. that doesn't happen. Cool details on the, on the side. Look at this on the back, I can't even, read what's written I, I guess it's bluebird something very neat very neat all around bluebird here again nice wheels it's uh, metal on metal it has suspension suspension seriously uh, I don't know if you can see the interior uh, the wheel is very detailed and uh, painted the rest is black, but seems to be detailed too. Very cool, very cool. Uh, they are releasing or are going to release a, a rally version of this car. I would have loved to order it, but uh, yeah, too expensive. And uh, I was already breaking the bank with this one here, so. Now, the piece of resistance, the Mazda 787B. Uh, first, let's have a look at the package because that's something I really like. It's a special package. It's not even the regular bigger package they have. Uh, here's a look at the back. So there are some pieces you can add. Antennas. Sides. And then, let's take a minute to look at this artwork. That uh, watercolor rendition of the car. I think it's very very nice it kind of looked like um, 
one of those uh, assembly models you could get in the 70s or 80s. I think that's a very nice touch. And then inside it opens like this. So you have, uh, I guess, some history about the car or the, uh, the brand. And here is the 1991 87B. 1991 being the year where this car won Le Mans and uh, became famous because of that because it's the only Japanese car to ever win at Le Mans, the 24 hours of Le Mans. Quite, quite an achievement I have to say, um, not sure what this is. So the car comes like this, as you can see, separate parts for the front and the back. And uh, the antenna, oh, here are the antennas. I will definitely put them on. And let's see the car. Oh boy, I don't really, it feels so delicate and fragile. I really don't want, the thing is, they look delicate and fragile, but at the same time, they're kind of very sturdy usually. So here's the main car, as you can see with the detail on the back, suspension, the chassis, the rotary engine here. Very cool. Very neat. I love the wheels on this. And then, okay, so this is the back. It goes like this. Uh, does it go any better than this? There seems to be a little bit of a gap. Ah there better and then this one on the front wow it fits perfectly nice and here, here you have it look at this headlights now that's attention to detail I don't see any flaws very nice back those wheels those deep dish in the back very cool oh and the the disc brakes are separate a separate piece you see very cool okay if I have a complaint it's not a complaint but just when you have this amount of detail it's kind of funny to not have the silver here or a reflective material for the the mirror just a tiny tiny detail and just to see just to say that even when you think you're paying money and you are going you're going to get something highly highly details there's still room for more uh, the base, metal on metal, not much to see here, here's a car, let's have a little close up of this incredible machine, whoa, yeah, definitely not something to play with, but it will look awesome on, in my display, that's for sure. And uh, since it's 164 true scale, here's the Datsun Bluebird com in comparison. That's very cool. Uh, those will probably be the last uh, TLV I order before a while, unless they get crazy and release a racing Porsche or something. I will have no choice but to get it. Uh, but uh, for this year, um, I'm good. I'm good. I already spent too much money on this. Uh, they're worth it, I think they're worth it, uh, and the resale value is big, so there's no problem there, there's no uh, devaluation, at, uh, especially for pieces like this, so it's all good. So there you have it, let me know what you think about uh, those TLVs, and uh, do you think it's worth the money, do you think it's too much for what it is, or whatever, comment, uh, like, uh, subscribe if uh, you enjoy what you saw and uh, I hope to see you all again soon and let's not forget I'm also on Instagram at Eliso Diecast and uh, you can follow me there too thank you for watching and see you again soon bye bye